So on this 2017 Malibu after an accident, this is one of those situations where it's filled up, but the AC won't run. And uh, of course it had a dead battery. It appears all the sensors are connected. Uh, they did not have the, um, where's that little guy up? Ah, they did not have the ambient air temperature sensor. So they went up and grabbed it and hooked it up. Oh, oh, never mind. I found the problem. He didn't see that either, I guess. Uh, yeah, problem found. No wonder uh, the AC is not coming on. So after an accident, if a car runs into your shop for repair, for a recharge, and after you do the recharge, look for the air temperature sensor. They get broken, uh, they get left off sometimes, or after a collision, it could have uh, got damaged. That's this case right here. So I'm done with this one and for you guys in shops who get auto body cars coming in, often wires will get damaged and never get seen or improperly repaired. I've seen guys put wires together and not even connect the wires and put electrical tape over them. Wow. And they call themselves a shop. Uh, yes. And this is a true story. I've also seen where wires have gotten yanked out of a sensor and they were broken and the clips were broke off in high and the body shop guy just stuffed the wires back down inside the rubber insulation and sent it out the door with the car all put back together and then they have to take it all apart to get to it again i've also seen where sensors gotten snapped off and the auto body uh body man stuffed the wires back into the broken sensor housing and filled it up with Bondo with the wire stuck back in the sensor. Another great body shop repair. Uh, of course, this one had a dead battery like many shops. And as customers, if you ever wonder why your bodies and batteries immediately die after you come from a body shop, because they cycle the batteries, they leave doors and lights open, it drains your battery, and then they put it on a massive quick charger because they want to get it started fast. And you already have like a four or five year old battery they become fragile when they get old they may have a couple more years of life out of them but if you drain a lead acid battery that's four or five years old six years old all the way down and then you hit it really fast with a quick charger at the maximum average you distort plates inside they get hot and one plate might distort a little bit and a plate right next to it will distort a little bit as it heats up and the two plates will close and short together and burn out your battery and that's why you guys always end up with dead batteries after they leave a body shop and then you notice immediately when you get home or a week or a month later you need a battery that's what happened the guys flattened your battery hit it hard and fast with the charger and roasted your plates uh, another one is bad body control modules after a body shop accident it's not that wires got shorted they often kill your battery, leave it on an old fashioned charger that goes over 16 volts and roast one of the modules inside the car. And it's not that the collision caused the damage. Again, it's the guys flattening the battery, hitting it hard, walking away, and they have one of the battery chargers that don't have a safety and will go way over 16 volts and the module goes out somewhere. One of the control units with the ECM. That's all, that's it for this one. Uh, nothing more I can do here, they got a dead wire.